What's going on, guys? It's Ryan here with Michigan Storm Chasers. We have an update regarding our severe weather threats for the next couple of days. The SPC has went ahead and placed a few risks here, particularly southwest Michigan. But for today, we also have one up in the west central part of the UP, up by Houghton, Marquette, Ironwood, Iron Mountain areas. Dark green areas indicate there is a level one out of a scale of five severe risk. And the light green areas around the entire state is just general thunderstorms. Okay. Hazards today, damaging winds, same exact areas. There's also a 2% tornadic risk that does brush up into southwest Michigan by Kalamazoo, over towards South Haven, Benton Harbor, all the way down toward that Sturgis area. All right. Let's go ahead and jump into some models here. Looking at the NAM3, we do see one feature we're going to watch today, in particular afternoon and evening right around 3 or 4 p.m we're gonna start keeping our eye on things here but overall this is going to move our way here we're going to call it an mcv that's going to travel across wisconsin across lake michigan it's going to arrive in southwest michigan the mcv can be a source of lift as well as enhanced shear so it'll kind of watch it closely overall instability today doesn't look to be overly impressive but i do think there's enough there to warrant mention of a potential rogue severe storm i think the spc did a good job there with that sp or with the uh marginal risk there for southwest michigan this is at 5 p.m here on this model here we're going to notice here in southwest michigan we have some storms even across uh, northern indiana as well as the western part of the up there so uh, expect storm coverage and intensity to increase through the afternoon as we get toward that 4 5 p.m and after time frame that's going to travel eastward here that's going to spark off more showers and storms before the sunset hits right around nine o'clock those storms should be on their weakening trend by then the bulk of the severe threat does remain off to our south here we see the squall line form across illinois and indiana that pushes south so michigan will escape the organization or the stress of the organized severe weather threat today but with the mcv if the mcv actually does take shape and pushes across lake michigan and arrives that can be a source for some potential isolated severe storms later today and also can't forget the guys up there in the UP. Damaging winds, your primary concern. Again, same time frames here with these storms popping up right around that 3 to 4 p.m. time frame up there in the western UP. Those are going to push eastward here. A little bit of a south move east southeast movement to them right around that three four and after time frame that's going to die off pretty quickly as we get towards sunset so overall today if you're outside the severe risk areas there is still a chance of general thunderstorms here the other model we use hrr model does show a similar picture to what the nam3 is showing we do have scattered storm showers and storms out there as of 10 45 a.m those will continue into the afternoon coverage and intensity will increase here but the overall synopsis here is any severe threat will be short-lived and limited to a couple areas here in michigan primarily the western up and also parts of southwest michigan this model here says most of the severe weather does stay off just to the south there across indiana border but still the mcv is on this model as well so we're going to watch it closely especially and if you guys happen to live in these severe risk areas down there by southwest michigan dark green or up in the west central part of the up just have enough make sure you have ways to receive warnings uh just in case today it doesn't look like an overly big day at all but definitely keep an eye to the sky keep an eye to your radar if you have one and make sure you heed all warnings if any are issued now going on to tomorrow's outlook tuesday we do have a general thunderstorm risk for the entire state and now they have introduced a marginal risk level one again out of five there for southwest michigan close to Grand Rapids, up toward the Muskegon area, down toward Benton Harbor, over toward the Coldwater area, as well as Battle Creek, Kalamazoo. You guys are in that marginal risk once again for tomorrow. The threat for tomorrow does appear to be damaging winds once again. However, I do not really see much right now on models that indicate that this is going to be anything significant uh, as well. Most of the organized severe weather will stay south and again west of Michigan. We talked about this last night on our on our weekly live stream. I don't think any one of these days is a huge day so to speak uh, i think that risk is just there just in case because the environment is very borderline 
Uh, so it's just one of those one of those time frames we're gonna have to kind of watch this closely and just kind of see if anything overperforms. Like we have more instability than expected or more wind shear than expected, that could kind of raise our raise our threat just a bit. But overall, I don't see anything too concerning uh, for any one of these days just yet. It's just kind of like I said, borderline environment. Then also day three Wednesday, there is a marginal risk out from Grand Rapids over to Lansing, just south of Detroit, sits in Ann Arbor through Monroe County there. That's going to be in effect there as well for the western, very extreme western part of the UP by Ironwood. Uh, so not too much concern right now for the UP. But the overall synopsis, once again, for Wednesday, I do think there's a little bit higher chance uh, for some severe weather on Wednesday and even perhaps Thursday as well. But we're going to wait to kind of get specific with this just because we're two days out. The domino effect, as we call it, is in full effect here. How today plays out will affect tomorrow. How Tuesday plays out will affect Wednesday. So overall, stay tuned for updates for Wednesday. But again, another marginal risk there in place for areas right along I-96 and points southward here. All right. With that being said, like I said today, 3 to 4 p.m. and after, expect storms to fire up in intensity as well as coverage. Scattered showers and storms possible across the entire state today, which is Monday. But severe weather should be tied to primarily two areas in Michigan, the western UP and southwest Michigan. Not expecting, this, not expecting things to get too out of hand. All right. With that being said, if things do go severe, we'll be here as always, live tracking it here. Myself, Joel, and also the team here. We have some chasers going out today, so we'll have you guys covered from, from every angle here. So stay tuned for that if need be. With that being said, be sure to hit the like button on your way out. I'll see you guys tomorrow on an update video for Mystical Storm Chasers.